Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. She has attempted suicide thrice due to her inability to pass her math exams coupled with her medical condition and disability. But Dorcas Margaret Magite has defied the odds and is currently in her final year at the Cape Coast Technical University. She wants persons living with disability to demand clear policies in their favour before voting for any politician in an election. She was diagnosed with a real condition known as spina bifida, that is the inability of the spinal cord to form or close properly in the womb with associated conditions of hydrocephalus, which is a build-up of cerebrospinous fluid in and around the brain. Born in October 1996, Dorcas Margaret Magite, at the age of six weeks, went through her first surgery. A tube was placed in her head through her neck down to her bladder. Another condition Dorcas has been battling with from childhood is incontinence, which is the lack of voluntary control over urination and defecation. Even though there has been an improvement, at times she has to isolate herself from mates as some of them mock her. Due to an infection, she later suffered nephrosis, a disease of the kidney. All this prevented her from walking, leaving her with no option than to rely on crutches. Actually, I was seeing the doctor every month. He never talked about anything wrong with the child or something. What I remember was that uh, at dawn, somebody came, whether a nurse or whoever, came with the baby and showed me the back of the baby and told me that my baby has a problem and uh, the condition is such that uh, we had to take her to Kolebu, but I should be rest assured something can be done. Regardless of all these conditions, Doka sat through her primary education to the tertiary level. When she was going to the next class, and the father, she was standing by me when we were explaining to the class teacher where she was going, what is happening, and the condition of the, uh, uh, the, the girl. He said, me, mm-mm. I saw how the P1 teacher suffered. I can't. Why can't you handle her? Because somebody has handled her. Why can't you? Mm. I cannot. So you had to change the teacher. She is now a final year student at the Cape Coast Technical University, offering HND, secretaryship and management. I was apparently trying to always force myself with people and, you know, mingle with people. But because of the stench and um, the mess in which I was in, most of the times, some of my friends would kind of shun you away from them and even the very good friends that i had along the way like distance they just dropped and they just left me to my faith and then the comments that people make about me and then the treatment they give me and life itself wasn't really fair and wasn't easy so i and the sicknesses put together i felt like i felt like i felt i was being a liability for my parents because they had to always be taking me to hospital, let's try center. My brother wasn't sick. I was almost the one sick. And I felt like I was cursed. Patricia, her classmate, has some memories to share. I'm mostly close to her. I'm always sit with her. There are times when she gets up, she'll ask me if she had soiled herself. And I'll go like, no. There were times to truly she has done that. And I would, I would let everyone leave before we leave the class. Then I'll have to cover her back till we get to where we are going to. One other difficulty is growing up is her difficulties in assessing the classrooms and lecture halls due to lack of disability friendly structures. This is how Dockers assess her lecture halls anytime she has classes due to the lack of disability friendly lecture halls here at the Cape Coast Technical University. Sometimes her lectures are at the third floor, second or first floor, with or without the help of friends. The institutions that are built to, to make it um, a disability friendly um, in terms of maybe schools or um, hospitals because these are the two basic places that most people go 
and when you actually analyze the ones we have it's difficult because the stairs and um, the stairs alone is enough stress for a person with disability she expects persons with disability to demand clear-cut policies from political actors i would want the politicians to try to factor um, a person with disability the, the the things they think they can do to to help them they should not just include but they should implement it so that i mean the life of the disability would also be better she further requested politicians to enforce laws on disabilities as it is done in other parts of the world things are just not um put in place well for a person with disability. i mean it seems like almost Nobody think about a person with disability. People are just living their normal lives. People don't really understand the whole um, disability um, issues. She intends to become a lawyer and a gospel musician. I've come to praise you for your goodness and your kindness. Your faithfulness and love you've shown to me. Even when I fall, you pick me up. Your mercy is ever new. Mo, mo, mo. Yes, Christo, mo. I will advise uh, every mother not to hide the babies. I was humiliated, a whole teacher becoming a head teacher and eventually a director with such a baby. I was humiliated at each point of my life. Other people living with disability I encourage to take a cue from Docker's life experience. Joseph Armstrong Gould, Alibi, TV3, Cape Coast Technical University, Central Region. Well, thank you, Dockers, for sharing your story. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. We have sports news coming up shortly. Do stay with us.